Welcome back to part three of Ross Tanky Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. So picking things up, we left them last time going through the intern phase. Uh, chat suggests I could have gone for the non-aggression with the Dracula Coven, but you know, I just didn't want to risk the ire of the Sisters of Twilight just yet. Um, because they're all with them smushing them. They're only going to give about 600 gold for it, so we shall see if that works out or does not. In terms of who we're going to go after next, I think I'm just going to give it a few turns and see who declares war on me. Drat the Coven are gone. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the sister's going to go for me next. Do they have any other... Serene those? No, they're minus 40. Marienburg is improving as Osland. Any of them? No. But Lewin. I could do that. I could ask for a bit of gold, but right now I want the diplomacy increase. We want to improve relations with them, so we'll just do that. Let's see if we can discover some Kislev friends. There's going to be... Postalton. Uh, and the uh, Drusina Enclave. The Snowbringer. The Snowbringer. Obey! Silence! Do not speak till I permit you. In the knee. The I expect impeccable manners. Okay. You can um, expect whatever you want. Or Stankia will give you what you get. Which probably won't be manners. Make some more purses, if you please. Just an old woman. Just an old woman. Uh, so we've got that already in the province. This building would give us the Eerie Woods. But we probably want to build that in the provincial capital of Arnheim so that we can upgrade it to tier 3 eventually and then 5. Um, could Should I add walls everywhere? How important is it to add walls everywhere? <laughs> I remember it being fairly important, but haven't they haven't they changed up? They did like they had like a siege rework thing during my last campaigns, I think. Really noticed too much of a difference. I mean that one should be safe because it's nestled between two other settlements, so I'm gonna risk it and go for another farmstead. And upgrade that as well. Yeah, go for it. Oh well, thank you. I could send you towards the shipwreck. And I bet while I do that, Noctilus decides to attack us. But oh, it's like death. let's go for it. The lens we. Oh yeah, that's it the one of the ones I've got to go into. I will say no I more. Will say no more. And turn. The dwarves are around here too, aren't they? Uh, Grumbrindle, the ancestral throng, or as I summonly misread and missay it. The ancestral thong, which nobody wants. Nobody wants an ancestral thong passed down through generation after generation. I'll take a non-aggression. It looks like Noctilus is just destroying the donut, though, at this point. Standard donut smash. Mission issued. Capture many provinces. Hold three. Okie doke. Tyrannox gone. Spirits, I see. We are ship shape. Explore the island. I'm going to throw in a quick save because if I'm not mistaken, there's still sometimes a crash which occurs during these. Let's fight the undead. Um, do I want to use my curse? No. Depth Guard's still stonkingly powerful, which is cool. 
Um, yeah, we'll save our curse. Here we go. Why do you think Gron Brindle's so angry all the time? It's because his, his, his ancestral thong is uh, giving him quite the wedgie. It's right up there. <laughs> anyway. Rogue Pirates. At least they don't have any artillery. I kind of like use Ostankia as a mobile arty platform. Just have you guys holding the high ground. He is living duels. Spooders. Do your spooder things over there. Bats. Chill over here. Creatures of the forest. Cuddles. You know the tales about me, about Mother Rostankia and her curses and her cauldron. Take heart, because the enemy does not. But I will teach them well. Right. Let's go teach them who you are. I might try her Omen of Spirits if I can. So you have three uses of that. But then I still need 12, don't I? I'd have enough. It's not going to be useful against multiple ones, though. Although I could use it on my Witch Brew, couldn't I? Yeah, let's give it a go. out of there. What's that one do? Oh, it's the Curse of the Witch, isn't it? And what's that one? That is the Blessing of the Ancient Witch. Which, magical attacks. Um, oh, that'd be great to pop on the ambushes. We'll pull her back behind them now. Draw them in. Victory's in your grasp already. Happy days. Eat some mushrooms. They're tasty. Okay, go forward again and witch brew their faces off. Oh no, not the... Not the depth guard. Anything but the depth guard. I should have gone at a side angle. Yeah, mom, this way. Depth out, get depth card, depth card. Yeah, mum. Mother Ostakia. Forward for Kisley. Exceed the ambush. 
Missile strength jumps up to 48. The blessings of the ancient witch. Nice. them all down giant spiders go bats go I can't stop anything from moving from this far out really Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Get him. Nice. Job done. Always love the looks of the death. Yeah, agreed. They're probably... Uh, yeah, probably one of my favourite like infantry units, actually. The armour looks really cool. I'd love for... I don't know if there's if there's more content they could add to the Vampire Coast, but I'd love another like Vampire Coast DLC or a new Lord for them. And some new units, perhaps. And, like different mechanics or something. If there's a lord that I've already done a series of that I wouldn't mind doing another one, like two are like right at the top of the list, which is Ikit Claw and Noctilus. Noctilus campaign was a lot of fun. Um, we've already got a lot of loot. Um, we can either replenish, but we'll do that back at home. So we might as well grab the extra spirit essence. Um... We Dinov's Brawlers, some Streltsy. Happy days. Oh, and a new trinket. Ooh. Island Song. 5k and bonus experience for it. Nice. What new trinket did we get? We got some bones. Oh, range for the assigned unit. Hello. What does that do? That does Wraith Sight. Visibility range. I don't really want visibility range and damage resistance. I would much prefer if there was something that added to giving me more range. Effect when used to create a blessing. Oh, that 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 gives you that on top, doesn't it, actually? If I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, trinket effects. Yeah, sorry, I didn't look at that bit. That's uh, typholysis. Typholysis? Typholysis? One of those. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, I still feel like the way Rampage now works, we just want to keep sp spamming out whiffs of madness. Um, so that with that. Yeah, so it does give us range, charge bonus, race site. That's quite nice. That's very nice. Um, more range for a unit. 
Let's make one of them. Okay, so I see. So when we have multiple ones, we can be like just creating loads of different curses and blessings every single turn because that wood one's still available. That's cool. Okay, send or thank you back. Although, are there any other islands nearby that we could go to and explore? There is a shipwreck up there. That'd be another battle though, won't it? But not necessarily a bad thing. We could be caught out from home, but eh, risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Go into evasion. More than just mere baubles. More than just mere baubles. Who are you? You're Tala Beckland. The Shrine of Urson. Some interesting sounds you're making there, Lava. Carl Franz, he's changed a lot since the last playthrough. Um, I'm kind of well. It'll be interesting to see if there's any overhaul changes to the Empire in general. With the... Oh, uh, here we go. Here's Marathi. It'll be interesting to see if there's any changes to the Empire and Carl Franz specifically with the next DLC, Thrones of Decay. So I probably would wait until that to do another one. I mean, like, I don't think I'm don't think I'm gonna do another campaign before Thrones of Decay. I think Ostanky will keep me busy. Marathi, I knew it. Knew uh, yeah, she's gonna go straight for the moon shard. Okay. Uh, I wanna go for that shipwreck, but I also need to get Ostanky back now to Arnheim. They knew I was away. Well, she hasn't taken the moon shard yet, so I know that if anything, I'm gonna lose the moon shard next turn. So I could get start turning back to Arnheim now. She's already got her amber amulet and the wand of um, Aradian. I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, I presume nothing. I mean, I'm really close to it. I could probably start recruiting some more units. Judicator or student of Miska. We'll probably go negative, won't we? wouldn't hurt what is our oh, defensive troops hmm. yeah let's let's do it let's go in for this explore the island medium oh and i'm gonna lose one of those i do have my blessing though um are they any worse than the last one no so we'll just do rinse and repeat the same thing give us some more loot then we can start building up another army for Marathi. Even if you run negative, that'll be fine for a few turns, I think. I think vampire, uh, vampires need a decent hybrid infantry unit. But you probably achieve that by just adding in like a variant to Depth Guard, like Depth Guard Gunners, which are like a really solid melee unit. You probably have them like Streltsy almost. That they've got like a, a great axe or something like that, but then they also have like a, a rifle. And they switch between the rifle and the great axe. Or maybe they have a... Almost, again, like a Streltsy, uh, one of their weapons, which is like... It's like a pole axe at the end of the gun, right? So they just they just swing that round or turn it around and then club them. Start deployments. Stankier, go get them. Paddles, you're getting a lot of veterancy. I am liking it. Bet that way. My name is Baddy. Oh, they I thought CA had got ridden got rid of all the ones where you could hide units right at the back. Ah, 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 not on this map. Sneaky. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. You guys chill at the back. 
Because if we can avoid losing you completely, that'd be great. Spood is at the back. Send the bats to the back to draw some of our units back. Slow them all. Purge them all. the gunners back. That's good. Go spiders go. Oh no. Death guard with pole arms. They knew. Oh good thing we saw that just in time. Run little spooders run. Go bats go. Slow them. Mob the uh, zombie pirate gunnery mob. Pull those back. Start sending you guys round. They just melted. Go on to the next group. them firing. Get him out. Alright, Cuddles is safe. Yeah, avoid that depth guard. You will not have fun facing that depth guard. Go, Spooders, go. I can't really do much there. That's fine. Beautiful. Amy Lord's dead. That's going to be the full crumble. And they are out of here. Actually, someone was asking, what is the, what is the, the beast on her banner? I think it's a thing in the woods, right? The things in the woods have an actual name or are they are they just things in the woods?
There we go. Decisive victory. How did that one survive? Or is that the like it, the dead rise again? Plenty of loot. Um, I am actually yeah, going to take the replenishment so that we're in as good a position as possible for when we face Marathi in a minute. On the way back. Potion of toughness. Okay. Materials at sea. Ooh, lovely. I mean, potion of toughness is not really super useful, but ain't going to hurt. Now, what do we want? We want the cursed cauldron. Oh, yeah. Just Sister Twilight, please do not attack me right now. Sisters, where are you? Serene Nestra. Sisters of the Tempestua. forest. We should kill them now, Nestra. Only when no other option remains. Yeah. Let's 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 go with that one. Yes? Yes. Frostweaver. Frostweaver. Of the Phoenix. We are slowly improving. Because part, oh, part, they like the, fa the fact that I'm at war with rogue pirates. Well, I've been waging war against them, right? Back we come. Okay, it's going to be another turn. So yeah, we're going to go negative, probably, but that's fine. We're going to go for the... Yeah, student of Miska, just because I kind of like the fact he's got a grey beard. And let's take a look at your... Stat oh, big old axe. Chippity choppity boy. You're the new chap in town. Servant of the Tsar, which locks out Veneration of the Bear or Speaks the Forest. Regeneration for Embedded Hag Witch. Oh, isn't this bugged at the moment? Where it doesn't just give regeneration to the Hag Witches. It gives regeneration to all units in the army. Or is that something else that's bugged? with these guys. I seem to remember seeing something on uh, on Reddit. Yeah, so currently if you go to Speaks to the Forest, it gives regeneration to all your units. <laughs> Which is pretty mental. Um, Ursan's raw experience gain for units plus 18% when fighting against forces of chaos or Servant of the Tsar. That's actually quite useful Servant of the Tsar for like, like stacking that. To gain buffs um, for quickly communicating with Kislev. Or increasing your chance of confederating with them. Hal's Judgment. That's pretty cool. When can you get those? Rank 10. Okay. Uh, I might avoid that to avoid the that bug out being pretty OP or, or what. I don't know. Woodland Ambusher. Reload time. Oh, okay, they support. Oh, yeah. So you're, you're a good supporter for Stanky's troops then. That's good. Man of the People. Nice. Hal's Fury. So you got missile strength. Oh right, yeah, I didn't. You know, I just saw the massive axe. Didn't even see the huge bow that you've got as well. Uh, recruit rank for infantry units, Lord's Army. I am going to steal that because you're about to do some recruiting, and Ostankir is not. I shall carry it with honor, Druzina. Okay, so you could get these guys. You might as well. Um, and then we'll transfer them into Ostankia. I, I don't think I need to recruit it this turn, though. Although she might be able to just sail around and attack Avaheim. If it honors Ursum. If it honors Ursum. Let's get some of these in. Globally, do we want to get something else? Start getting some archers on the go and screw it. I'm going to throw it in. It's going to no nearly make us negative, but we can we can hold for a turn and then use that army with Ostankia when she comes back to try and push back Marathi if she makes landfall. Let's go find Kislev. There we go. Catherine, how are you finding your sled? Kislev. I am the fist of proud Kislev. Defend me and you offend her. So, the who calls? Who calls? Greetings on behalf of the Empire. It is I. Now what brings you here? Of course. Dark Seer. Stored Prince of... All right. Kislev. All right. Kislev. Morathi. Oh, 
here yet. Noctilus is not hanging around, is he? How strong has he gotten? Six regions already. Um, hi elves. Have you heard of a very simple but straightforward tactic that I hear is still pretty potent? Staunch line of spears and archer spam. It's just two units. That's all you need. Moonshot. Although... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do my... Yeah, I forgot to do my, my curses. I need like a curse reminder. I'm tempted to fight this because we've got the armoured Cossars in there. Okay, I mean, we should be able to chip down some of them, right? If we can knock out her... That's our starting unit of Demonettes of Slanesh. Get rid of them, that'd be nice. Um, do I want to use that? I mean, it, 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 yeah, let's, let's do it on them so they get a whiff of madness and go rampage for the whole battle. That takes them out of the, the fight. That is so powerful. Oh, uh, we could curse Marathi, actually. Yeah, even better. Then she can't be doing anything for the whole fight. I like it. Um, do we want to use this? I think I'm going to keep that. So I don't think that's going to make a huge amount of difference for this one. Here we go. Yeah, that is that is bonkers. Because the ramp rampage used to be temporary, right? But now what? It's permanent if they go into it. It's probably not like for units that have rampage. They have to reach a state of going into it, right? Which is when they've taken like a certain amount of damage. Um, but I think it's in this case where you're where you're cursing them with it. It's just an instant activation. It's not like it's. I wonder if they might tweak that so that you apply the rampage modifier to them, but they still got to hit the threshold for it to trigger. But then they might leave it as is, which I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't be upset by because it's strong. Very strong. There's Marathi. She's going to go rampaging and out of control and maybe wreck some of them. Um, how do we want to slow them down? Um, barricade platform there. Yep. And we can do another one there. Oh, but it's no good because... Uh, oh, we can do that one there. Oh, yeah, definitely there. Yeah, definitely there. Uh, I won't do one there. Cancel that. We'll do one here instead. Just trying to block their so it paths up. So that way there's, there is still the option to come in there. But we can just hold back here. Yep, yep, yep. Right, let's group everybody up. Cavalry, where do I want you? Have they got any missile units I can go and harass? Yeah, there's one over there. There's a few down there with Marathi, but I'm hoping she's going to mess them up. There's a lot of them down here, so we're not going to bother with that one. So, yeah, let's go. here and I'd have to flank all the way around. That's not ideal. Let's start you off over here and see where they come. Okay. Right. Then we want some solid troops to face them here. Which of you guys has the longer range? None. Your armor piercing. Do that. Um, I think I think we'll just hold the rest of them up here. You guys go like so. You guys go there. You guys go there. Your range is further, isn't it? So have you guys there. 
and these guys back when they inevitably break through. And then have you guys here for if they make it make their way up that way. Not ideal, but let's give that a go. All right, she's immediately out of control. Off having a wander. Some of them are going to be going up that way. These guys are coming in here. Take out the dark shards if we can. I'm going to go for creating a tower up here, but wait until we've got like 900, I think. Infinite ammo feature barricades is very useful. It extends range. Barricade blocker. Does the barricade give you more ammo while you're on it as well? Oof. You guys being wrecked. Oh, uh, if you take what if you take troops off the barricade, it refills the ammo. That's amazing. Yeah, damn, that's cool. It's just about how many of them can we take down with our forces. No, actually, if we can avoid Marathi, we can go in against these guys here. Shades are nasty. Things, unless we wipe out whole units here, it's not exactly the, uh, the best strategy. by witch elves. Uh, if it slows her advance down, even just for a turn. That's it. Marathi's coming in. Might have taken out these dark shards, perhaps. Although those guys have shredded me over here, so move forward here. Uh, yeah. Big old tower. I'll save until I've got the 2,000 one. And I forgot about all those points. If we can get that up and hold that point, that might work. We also might be about to lose any second. I don't know if we'll be able to build it in time. Give him a volley. Horse 
Okay, that one's gone. Got to take out more dark shards. Pull it back. They give barricades more health than this. Like it's taking them a lot longer to get through them. There's some shades coming. Yeah, I feel like they've got way more health on those barricades than when I last played. 15 seconds till that tower is up. Rathi's in there. But out of control. Are we in trouble? Eh, uh, no, we're alright. We're okay. We knew we were going to lose this one. It's all about how many of the enemy troops we can take down with us. Which so far is about 500. That's not too shabby. If we could kill off the hero, that would be good. Problem is, everyone's just broken. So it's our last chance to get a few shots in. Keep damaging the shades. Take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down, take him down. I thought it's worth throwing a random tower there, and that's it. Close defeat. It lost 525. I don't think they lost any whole units, though. That's the only issue. So if she just sits there and replenishes for a turn or two, all is for naught. Definitely another one of those curses, though, to take her out of the fight a bit. Because otherwise she'd be casting a load of spells. So at least she wasn't able to do more damage with her spell casting because she was out of control. Oh, they did lose a unit of Dread Spears. Nice. Okay, she's taking the Moon Shard. That's fine. So whether we can get back to Arnheim now. In time. If not, we'll have to try and really make her bleed at Arnheim. For a Stanky to then sail on in and knock her, knock her into oblivion. Slaughter so on the steps. Build the Frozen Outpost. Oh, what's this? With our provinces queue, we can safely investigate the threat. What is this? Oh, I know who this is. This is um, the vampire Kislevite character, right? That's also available to the Empire. I've completely forgotten her name. But yeah, I didn't get a chance to use her when I last played as Kislev either because she didn't exist yet. When was she added in? What DLC was that? Was that Champions of Chaos? No, it's not the Golden Knights. I don't think. This is... Ah, uh, what's her face? <laughs> Can't remember. Ulrika. That's the one. Ulrika. Yeah, Slaughter on the Steps. The Motherland's enemies, both mortal and otherwise, have long sought to claim her. Foes who step foot upon the frozen tundra find themselves entombed in her icy grasp soon enough. Nevertheless, the safety of the populace can be ignored. There are reports of mutilated bodies appearing across the Sylvanian countryside. A grave threat that serves as a timely reminder for us to secure our homeland. I think that's... This is her quest line, I think. And then we've also got... 
the Golden Knight, descendant of uh, Laysa. Kill 1,500 enemies in battle. The Golden Knight takes notice. The Golden Knight is Kislev's living symbol of unification between church and state. The greatest living warrior in Kislevite soldiery, whose sacred duty is to ensure the peace and sanctity of Kislev's lands, regardless of politics or bureaucracy. The current incumbent would be a powerful ally indeed, uh, the daughter of a notable fallen companion of Boris Ursus himself, and a warrior of grim determination. Uh, Nariska Alesa, who is not above seeking out more sinister powers to the west to help purge all corruption that threatens the motherland. Okay. And then Carl from Ice recruit a character trained through the Ice Court. Nice. Ice sculpting. A second front. Oh, I just already recruited another lord. I'm assuming she's going to head towards us, but we'll bring Ostankia back. Hopefully she can help out. Throw in a few more of them. And see how things go. Arnheim. I mean... Is it worth building the defenses? I wanted to get the eerie woods. So we'll throw that in there. We are negative on our income, but it's going to be a temporary thing. Research-wise... Campaign move range, all armies. That's nice. Yeah, let's go for that. Troll country pathfinder. And then before I forget again, let's get more of those curses. Because we'll need that. And then... Go back to my agent over here. So we can see Kislev, and then we need to go find Boris, don't we? I mean, to be fair, he might be the first legendary lord that we get to recruit through um, the Recruit Defeat Legendary Lords mod that we might need to enable for, because uh, he normally gets splatted a fair bit, doesn't he? All right, let's do one more end turn. Oh, no, she's gone straight in. Oh, it's a valiant defeat. Oh, she's got reinforcements. Seriously? Oh, my days. I'm getting Marathied hard. Rodiak. What happens if you lose the campaign? Uh, we give it another go. <laughs> but we have to. Oh, it's so annoying. She's got those reinforcements coming in. Wow. Okay, well, well, we'll apply that Wraith Sight to these guys. And we'll curse Marathi again. But she can't use any spell against us. Yeah, we. I mean, if, if they're going to defeat us here, we've got to make them bleed for it. And I imagine they're going to defeat us here. So many Dark Shards. So many Dark Shards. Like, I reckon we could win this if it was just Marathi. In fact, they've got that other army coming in as well, which is just as nasty with more Dark Shards. Ay, 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 ay. Right, well, we will open next ep episode. Fighting for our lives. Thankfully, our Sankia is not too far away. Whether she can take Arnheim, though, or whether she'd have to go swing around to the Moon Shards to try and draw these guys out, remains to be seen. Probably have to swing around down to the Moon Shard. But if they jump out with both armies... We could be in trouble, so we really need to wreck a load of troops here. May Ursus be with us. Well, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.